you make any money yet? It's because the event is literally over. I know. What the hell, Joe? Like, I can't go over there where they're playing. The fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, uh, can you guys at the chat see us? Uh, it says you guys can. Uh, looks fine on our end. Just want to make sure that you guys can actually hear and see us. Hold on one second. If, uh, I want to see if, if they say if they do, then they can resume their match. That's what I'm asking. Uh, I got one yes. Yeah, they're saying yeah that the, it's working so alright we got the match going again guys uh, camp side of the clipboard scout yeah I'm sorry alright what up what up what up do we ever locate uh, Josh Camp's deck list alright alright All right, so camp. Uh, hey, another another good start for the boy, real quick. All right. Yeah, guys. Uh, Josh Camp did win game one off the back of a turn one shell uh, tribute summon equipped with a sacrifice. After the Scout Tramplinks series, that's the best combo that needs to be banned. <laughs> How many cards are in Speaking of all the DM scripts for him. We had a little bit of technical difficulties on our game, or on our end, so we're just now getting to see this game. Ooh, there it is. Right, Negro games. See. Does Jeff only have three? That's what we call it now. Send us the Negro games. <laughs> all right. It's unbelievable. Thumbs up from Phil. Thumbs up, baby. <laughs> so it looks like Jeff uh, chose to go first again. Yep. And then start with two. Blade Scout summoned. Uh, that's Helix, right? That Helix? Yeah, that's Helix equipped to sacrifice. Okay. Uh, equipped uh, with sacrifice. Which you said. So yeah, huge start from Josh again, like you said. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Um, and now he's activating the sister, presumably in the end phase? I believe so. Definitely didn't draw, so an Esquimata. Head to the grave. Esquimata is a very interesting uh, card to me personally. Always going to the grave, just dragging somebody down with it. <laughs> Similar to how my family <laughs> operates. You know, one goes down, hey, hey we're bringing a whole family down, boy. <laughs> Crabs do that too. It's a, it's it's. I'm it's, saying it's rough. Come on, man. intro. All right, Squamata, who we bringing down, bro? We putting in the struggle. Hey, John. All right, so that definitely means that uh, Jeff has a fusion. I wonder if his set is the Elsadol fusion, then he would be able to activate it on the end phase. Um, oh, that would if be he's grabbing Squamata, he's probably not going to activate it because presumably he would want to use whatever he got off Hedgehog, yeah. and he's already used Squamata this turn, so. <laughs> Looks like Josh is thinking about activating something when he draws. Alright, Skill Drain. Mm -hmm. uh, he's doing that to play around the Dinko Seca. Yeah, yeah. Smart decision right there. And that just boosted Helix up as well. Right. So Camp with such a strong board right now. Yeah. Just right. see the Wyver Buster come down. Enemy controller would be really big for Jeff right here.
All right, we're gonna see an El Shadal fusion from Jones. To get stopped by an emptiness. Yeah, emptiness does put a stop to that though. Skill dream, huh, and I don't see anything in uh, pretty strong board. Yeah, this I don't see anything in Jeff's hand okay. that can actually just <laughs> overcome this. Yeah. Josh, uh, skill dream, emptiness, and sacrifice together yeah. are pretty three difficult. Cards that's, that's three that bad bitches walking in the club. Do right, uh, not want to see right, together. Don't even mess with them. Oh yeah, they out your league. <laughs> All right, but Jeff Jones, he's still gonna try. Cause why not? That's what we do. We try. Remember, well, those you know those forty nine no's and one yes, still yes. You know those bad bitches don't affect Jeff Jones. Yeah, I was, I was about to say something oh about that. Oh my god, that's actually so accurate. <laughs> Jeff still has this, man. He still has this. I don't know. Looking like they might just be bad enough, and uh, <laughs> Jeff might. I mean, he may not be I'm affected not by it, but the man has to respect him. There it is, man. Hell, near, game hell recognized game. All right. Talk to <laughs> Not sure where Jeff goes from here, though, man. Um, probably to the third, something. fourth place playoff. <laughs> <laughs> right. I well, I'm never gonna count my man's out, but uh, Josh Camp has definitely assembled uh, quite, you know, one. Some would say an unbreakable yeah, such board an at this point. Overpowering position, yeah. especially considering I think Jeff's hand is just three creatures. Jeff thinking about chaining. Um, maybe that suggests he has. One MST or super. Poly. Oh, it has to be phased down. No, well, it can't be in super poly. Yeah, it, it can't be super poly because he doesn't have a. Uh, uh, Shadal on work. the field. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Hmm. Elemental hero guy? No, he needs a hero guy. See, I know one thing is that um, a lot of the Shadal players have said that they started to ignore the mm -hmm. scouts activation so yeah. even if they have cards like MST they don't use them on those anymore because they'd rather just have them for cards like this uh, so that they can push through the board and just do damage like that's fair almost as if the 800 is contributing to their win condition <laughs> uh -huh. I mean you know if the matchup isn't really working out you do have to take a new approach to it and you can kind of see that philosophy and what Jeff's been trying to do did it earlier and it's not going to work out in a game like this because of the absurd setup that Camp has right now. Yeah, this is crazy, man. But you do have to respect trying to trying to approach the matchup from a different angle. We were questioning how uh, effective skill drain was earlier, but if you get it in combination, <laughs> I, th I think, I with think the question is, is very er, definitely yeah, going to be very absolutely. effective. Absolutely, answer is certainly very. Uh, this is just, uh, this is just a, a boy Shadal's cries at. Oh, but Jeff might have something face down. I would think you would actually. Okay, enemy yeah. controller. Okay. Alright. So, so Cam's gonna take 31 here. Yeah, I guess Jeff is just. Probably Our realizes friend. that his win condition involves drawing enemy controller next turn. Yeah, 48. Um, I wanna say he's gonna just like summon attack and then pass. Let Josh do whatever he can do. Mm -hmm. uh, which isn't a great position to be in, and then Jeff's I'm gonna sorry. hope to draw like an enemy controller to actually end the game on damage. Yeah. Um, he's gonna need it. You know, it, it, like as bad as that sounds. Because it sounds very unlikely, but at the same time, that's probably Jeff's well, only last game. Position. How unlikely was it that Lolly would draw the BLS again yeah, exactly. after being exactly. shuffled back from Virgil? All right, yeah, these, yeah. these things happen, man. Three MSTs, and one BLS. Exactly. How unlikely? You know, how unlikely was I going to get hired over those two white guys? It happened. <laughs> okay. I mean, we got we got to keep these statistics in mind, man. Like it's it. real. <laughs> a lot of my examples are my real life, and I'll write a book one day. But for now, we're going to stick to this game. You can't even <laughs> read a book. What are you talking about? Somebody can write it for me. It's like two different skills, reading and writing. Exactly, man. Get out of here. Stifle me. Stifle. Word of the day. I'm, I'm yeah, a fan. Really? Stifle is, is the word of the day. Yeah. I hear this word every Sunday. It's called baby steps. Douchebag. You gonna hear you gonna hear a bigger word today? <laughs> Stifle. Oh, Ooh, sorry, that's beast. I did not realize he had beast in here. Yeah. Um, That'll work and get rid of the emptiness. Yeah, that's pretty big. So Jeff Jones. So then he's going to drop the dragon and attack for... 22? Yep. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now we'll see so the attack in total 39. should be 4,000, right? Yeah. That'll, uh, I believe that'll put camp at Was beast at 21 or 22? Uh, I'll do that in a second. What'd you say? 22. Yeah, so, alright. Yes. Yeah. I just can't see this working in Jeff's favor. Like, he's gonna complete the pendulum scale next turn. 
and he'll be able to special. Yeah, and he'll be able to special, and he's going to special a bunch of monsters, and they're going to come out at 28. So yeah. I, I would almost certainly say Josh is going to win. Yeah, I think actually the way you did it would have left an emptiness on board. Yeah. So it would have assured Jeff would have probably I almost at least feel like that was turn. more favorable. I think that would have been more optimal. Uh, maybe Jeff just didn't think about it, but I think the play that you designed would have been a little more optimal here. Certainly. Uh, as opposed to facing down a pendulum scale and a skill drain on board. So Jeff going to be in a little bit of trouble if this gets completed here. Which it almost certainly is. The other hand to this is uh, the way I did it, he can't draw a fusion mm -hmm. card and it'd be good. This way, I I'm not entirely sure fusion does enough because it fusion doesn't actually get over the monsters. Like it, all his 28 beaters. Yeah. Or a, probably a 31 beater with a sacrifice coming. But, um, so I'm not really sure it does enough to give yourself fusions. You know, I think Econ might have been the only out. And it might have been better to do it the other way. Yeah, so even with the play to clear the sacrifice and emptiness, uh, Camp has established his pendulum zones. And you have to wonder where we go from here. Right, that's going to be a lot of monsters. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Um, Jeepers creepers. Those are three 3,100 attack creatures. And then he's just going to double. Oh, and shell. shell. Uh, and that's going to kill the skill drain. Huh. Um, Wait. I'd like to point out, Jeff does have one out here. Regeki. If this isn't game, this might be game. I didn't actually have my answer or anything, but... Uh, if Jeff draws Regeki, he just paid for the pendulum scale when he maybe didn't have to. Like, if it's not game, maybe he shouldn't have paid. Yeah, true. Uh, he definitely made then he would be at 22, and yeah. then if Jeff draws Regeki, then he could Regeki and then Shell just a dragon attack for game. Shell should have the effect, right? The, um, um, the attack toast effect? Yeah, I, I haven't done the math. I don't know how much this actually is, if it's enough for game. I mean, as far as I know, they stay at 2,800. Yeah, they do. And then Carrier's another pump, so... Yeah, he has the plus 300 going too. Right. Yeah, that's on the swing game. It's just 31. Yeah. yeah, definitely game. He's gonna well, search. He's, right, he's gonna <laughs> search first. He's like, hold on, wait a second. I might have something. Holla, holla, holla. I don't know. We, we the might boys. Uh, Is it not game? Attack with shell. So it was 28, 600, and then. The shell. This was the shell should attack twice, and then the boost. The boost from carrier. All right. Uh, Joe's going over to find out the life points. Since we are obviously missing something. Jeff said a thousand. Oh, Jeff said a thousand. So th did the shell get to attack twice? When he bought the shell, it wasn't still drain face up? Yeah, that's... So if Jeff said a thousand, why would he make this play? He's just lost... I feel like he's just lost any momentum he had and opens himself up to... So Jeff's still alive here. I, I'm not really sure what that was. Uh, yeah, Josh, I'm not sure... Definitely gave Jeff the out as Regeki, but I think that would be the only out at this point. Yeah, that's truly surprising. Are they all at 28? Yeah, they're all they're all large creatures. Yeah, all right. So I would think that uh, Regeki's probably the only out. Um, he does have a dragon in hand, so he could Castell one, enemy controller crash, but that clears the field and doesn't attack for game if he has. Yeah, he needs to find game somewhere. All right. Well, he didn't draw Regeki. He would have slain it on the table. Let's say you fair one. one. Oh, oh, That's oh, is that a no? Oh. What um? So, so what rank fours does Jeff play? Uh, Jeff's list was right here, right? Uh, yeah. Do you have Jeff's list? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, all right. Let's see what rank fours he plays. Uh, Castell and Exiton. Hmm. Are the only two he plays. So let's see, if he... He's also writing an 11 card extra deck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Alright, Jeff's win condition is to get him to pay for Scout. Yeah. 
interesting to note also, Josh Camp has an 11 card extra. <laughs> uh, I didn't even notice that. Does he side, um, what is it called, the emergency teleport? Because... Oh, the, the, the recovery... Yeah, you can side, uh, I've seen that before where you side emergency teleports and recovery and you make natural beats mm -hmm. to the mirror. And just then kind of win. Yeah, win. Yeah, you could bring back win. the psychic if you have five or less. But, uh... No, but he just, oddly enough, doesn't side that and plays in one of the card extra. Whatever, man. <laughs> Probably wouldn't do it, but whatever. Jones, keep in thought. Yeah, his win condition is definitely to get him to activate Scout. Yeah. Um, Could you imagine if Camp walks right into it? I, I can't imagine he would. Like if you're he Jeff, how do you get him to do that? I don't... If he just swings I would literally just set this card, set another card, be like, go. Right? And then, like, it's in the most soft, luscious voice you can. <sighs> scout me. He's just gonna scout me. Right? <laughs> get him in that false sense of security. Something. Love him! Yeah. And then he's just gonna do it. And he's gonna set and pass, and be like... like uh, I mean, the, game's, not the game is just over. Attacks with shell, and that's all he does. Right. Jeff is gonna have to do have some to mind games. There's no possible way. Is that what happened? Wait, did he pay? There's no way. He paid? Did he pay? I don't know. Wow, he must have paid. That's insane. You're kidding, right? Uh, I I'm gonna hope that Jeff did something. Very Game three impressive. coming up. Or no. Oh, okay. Game three's coming up. Did he pay for shell? Oh, that was game two. So game three's coming up. Did that guy pay for Shell? He paid. Huh? Jeff flipped Fairy win, right? Yes, he paid for Shell. The guy paid the eight? He paid the eight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Jeff Jones mind games. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> hey, I can't complain. I had a free win in top four. <laughs> So does, does this top the guy not normal summoning to attack path for game? <laughs> Which, I don't know if it's who won who won worse. Does this top that. I don't know who that is. It's, it's Triple H. That's it's funny. Triple H. Oh, all right. So apparently I know who this guy is. Go start with this. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's not very good. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, it is what it is. No, I hope it can absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Come off the rails here. Cool. And tell then us we're going in. Stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tank. Um. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to be on principle. Jeff Jones should win this, just for a skillful finals. My man Josh Camp. He's not a bad player at all. I made a, I made a critical misplay right there. But damn, bro. Damn. You give you give me that opportunity to win that money. I'm cashing out. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, you feel me? You, you feel me? Oh yeah. That's my brother. I really want to know. <laughs> Whether Jeff did something to make him pay, like the, if the he voice. tricked him somehow, the voice, right? Oh, like yeah, that's the thing scout. is we can't we can't like he's just gonna scout me. from over Jeff there. Jones and the guy's like, hey, Jeff like, Jones, Jones is scout. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'll pay eight hundred. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I can grab a sacrifice and swing for even more lethal. Let me just more lethal. <laughs> oh my god. And he got to see um, his deckless. He knows he plays fairy win. All right, that was unfortunate. We're gonna go to game three now, it, guys. Sorry about that. Jeff Jones literally spiel. just got touched by Angel. <laughs> That's literally just what happened. So we'll find out how uh, game three swings. Uh, Jeff already has a better hand because I see some spells. But Camp has the turn one scout. He does have the turn one scout. But as we as this we saw last time. game, that doesn't dictate who wins the game. Right. No, this is no, the first time not. Camp's gotten to go first this match. Yeah. Hey, the important thing it, the important thing here, regardless of what happened that game, will be to see if Camp can keep his composure and try to win game three despite what happened there. Very important that you know, not everyone. People don't play perfectly. It happens sometimes. Look, man, you gotta keep your composure and move on. Misplays just open up new opportunities. Absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> that's all camp's got to think about. Think about it like that. Not many people can say they would try. They would three zero Jeff Jones. All right, he's just gonna go ahead and complete the pendulum. All right, so a reasonable turn one by camp. I think yeah, he's got this in him. Mm, okay. A reasonable. 
turn one that gets even more reasonable as we go. Gets even more reasonable. I would have loved to see the chat on that last that last game. You think we're ruthless? Mm, that chat though. I would love to see the chat. Shout out to the chat. Make sure you guys are spreading the link. Let them know we got finals coming up, man. This game three right here. So one of these guys is head to the finals to face off against Lolly. All right, now it's gonna be hot and poppy. It's always poppy. All right. All right. Uh, Josh is a 72. All right, so I see an enemy controller in Jeff's hand. Which is exactly, this is the position that Jeff wants to be in to win this matchup, actually. Um, he wants him to have one big guy and no more mm -hmm. that he can take and attack for a lot of damage yes. to win the game. He also has MST in his hand, too. Something to note. Uh, what did he search off the uh, sacrifice? Um, another scout. Another scout, okay. Set of monsters, probably. A little more of a passive turn here for Jeff, it looks like. I do see Fairy Wind uh, there. Fairy Wind. So Fairy Wind, MST, too. and I believe Enemy Control right. are Now, Jeff's do you cards. think Jeff's going to risk it here? Do you think he's going to risk him paying eight as far as it is from the last game now? I would absolutely um, risk this guy paying eight. Because if he if he doesn't do it right off the bat, yeah, I was going to say, All he right, risks him fine. just pendulum summoning. Um, well, you know, so Josh like, can't. He doesn't play by the rules, all right? You can't this guy's a rebel. Play. He only plays by his rules. Pay eight hundred. I, I would probably put them immediately as well. So then they both take 600. So yep. then Josh is at 66. Uh, and then he just pays down to 58. Yep, good stuff. And then Jeff goes to 74. Alright, so Jeff Jones slowing him down. Does he have another one though? Does he have the triple, triple crown? I don't think so. Probably would have played it right away. I think Jeff's at 74. Mm -hmm. 74. sacrifice. And no oh, shell. All right. So sacrifice effect. Ooh, that's that's a uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. It's a lot of damage. I didn't catch what uh, Jeff's last set card was. I think it's enemy controller. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's econ. That's that's not very good for Jeff right here. I don't know. Is he can complete the scale if he wants. Yeah, that is scary. Oh, well, well, I mean, if he goes, makes the scale. I'm not sure he would do that, though. If he, he does, though, like, Jeff could, like, ideally just econ, take the strongest monster. Was, if he, um, he did he sack for the shell? Yeah, shell okay. is, so I was going to say, if he, uh, if he just decides to go for another sacrifice, I'll Oh, did, did he, he pendulum summoned already, though, didn't he? That's why he got shell out. I thought uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm probably he wrong. probably will get sacrificed in that case. If he gets well, no, uh, actually no, he didn't because the guy already had a monster on board with sacrifice. I was say if he gets sacrificed, doesn't he just die? Okay, he's gonna go ahead and get carrier. I'm tired of thinking about these card interactions. All I know is <laughs> camp's not in too bad a position. It was here. hard. <laughs> see the pendulum summon now he's gonna drop yeah, a bunch is. of monsters into play at once totally cool totally fair so we see two carriers a helix and a disc it does open up jeff to the possibility of drawing should all fusion here since there's someone from the extra deck mm. oh it does work like that that's adorable <laughs> what happened <laughs> Oh man. After this match, I'm, I'm going and asking Jeff if he did something to intentionally make him do it. Or yeah, if he I just have set to, his I have card and then just passed and hope for the best. Like the I want to Siren know. song of Jeff Jones. Snake charmed him. Got him. Or maybe so. Or maybe just set him fast and hope for the best. But we're going to find out. Definitely want to ask Jeff. Yeah. He's going to attack with the shell. Um. 
Do you know what uh, his set monster is? I'm not sure. Um, I know it's a shit oh, but he just the way he kind of said it, I wasn't sure. Are you, are you sure he didn't set Neko Seka? I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty confident he didn't set Neko Seka. Alright, so he he's probably thinking about what he's going to do with his enemy controller. He basically has two options, which is to switch it to defense or potentially take control of it. I just gotta be thinking about how do I actually win the game. Yeah, yeah. like even if I survive this turn, it's like, all right, well, what's next? And it looks like that is the option he's gonna go with. He's gonna sacrifice Dragon to take control of the disc. Effectively acts as a wobble for the turn. And he's gonna give himself uh, the option of drawing. Like, fusion would probably be the best draw. Yeah, and give him the most because it, it guarantees him another draw as well. But if Jeff doesn't draw fusion, he's he's in bad shape. If it does draw fusion, he might be in bad shape. Yeah, Camp's gonna look at Carrier. Realize that no, I still cannot swing over this disc, and probably, maybe outside of a bat, I, I think he doesn't have any hand, right? Because he used the last card to complete the scale. Is the disc normal? It should now. The disc was brought off of the uh, pendulum. What just happened? What? Oh, he was trying to turn off uh, Shadal all fusion. Oh, okay. Okay. So kind of, kind of a heads up play by Camp actually. Yeah, not not bad. Yeah. This uh, this does the shell can attack twice though, so this does open him up to if he draws enemy controller, suddenly he's dead. And you know that. Uh, all right. He's got. Why don't you say that? You kind of got to think that like. Sure, that was kind of cool mm -hmm. that he rammed all the stuff into it to turn off Fusion. Yeah. But at the same time, Fusion doesn't actually win him the game here. No, like, not not even really close. You and get rid of your whole board just in that situation. Yeah, yeah. if enemy controller outright wins him the game here, then uh, that, that might not have been uh, as, he's at eight as good of a play as he would have thought. Jeff can make Castells. Is it? Rather terrible. Right, the ramming those in, he took a lot of damage, and it gives him, even a dragon is an out, right? Can he make, he has that, a dragon. That's a dragon. Him. Yeah, if he has another level 4, this is actually just game. It, it should be, yeah. He could just make Castell. Yep. Oh, no, yeah. He can't go through. No, Castell. Oh, yeah, no, Castell, that's right. Damn. Um, okay. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. forgot. I actually did forget about that. Um, mm. Alright, that's not good then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jeff, <laughs> back to the drawing board of, of efforts. Not an effort. Alright. But yeah, still, uh, I would say that he probably shouldn't have crashed those because fusion is a game. Yeah, not and at all. enemy controller just becomes outright game. If he does this. <laughs> That's so lame they can't be affected by <laughs> levels of rank. Because then I'm like here, seriously thinking, oh, Jeff probably has game. I'm like, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> just kidding. Not quite. Heartland Draco, one time. One time, man. Hey, I play it. It's devils, baby. <laughs> you can't even summon it after you use your wolf bite. I can summon it. I just can't attack. It. You can float it. I wonder if Heartland Draco would be a good addition to Jeff's deck. Like, his deck is trying to kill you. Yeah. He's not really trying to play for Cardio. Can you imagine man. in this situation? Yeah, that'd be just go right for the gut. He does play Exiton, um, so what he might end up doing is making... No, Exiton doesn't stop any of it. Uh, Jeff just loses. <laughs> <laughs> like, the more I think about it, I, ca I can't really think of a way can't around can think of a it. scenario yeah. where Jeff wins this? Uh-uh, not really. And it's um, so he did have a rank 4. That's probably counting on him to just misplay. Oh, it worked out well with the fusion thing. So uh, yeah, he's gonna double attack. Jeff's gonna get one more draw. Yeah. Hopefully, just hope the enemy that he gave It's all him about help. survival, man. It's all about survival. To draw. Um, yeah, certainly. Claw your way to the top. And then Jeff has some very well polished nails to do that crawling to. All right. Very well polished. Wish I could say the same. Yeah. 
I do. That's strange, Phil. Just a little bit. Alright, so if you didn't summon a monster to attack, do you have to be thinking that it's a trap? Or did he already pass? Yeah, he attacked the pass. And Jeff Drew. So what do you think uh, Josh Drew that he wouldn't summon an attack or set? Maybe a sideboard card? Yeah, I was thinking maybe... Huh. I can't really think of a card that he would have drawn and done nothing with. Trampolinks, that could be one. Oh uh, yeah, Trampolinks could actually absolutely be right, a card. I I'm going to say Adrian Trampolinks. Alright, we'll, we'll find out too. We're going to ask Jeff the question. We'll find out if that's Trampolinks. If he's a 57, he has a whole nother turn to draw enemy controller. Sure, Darker. Yep, it was Tramplinks, by the way. <laughs> there we go. What just uh, I'm not really sure what just happened, but if it's you look at it, it's Tramplinks. Yeah, it, that's a hack door, that's a I don't know, that's just what he showed me. Yeah, I saw the other attack. So he's going to bounce a bunch and make a rank for Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, alright, that's it. Yeah, no, no, no. Alright. Um, I think he's talking about the amount of damage he took. Despite uh, just throwing game two away, I mean, just kicking that boy off the cliff. Like, he ain't, he ain't, he want that. So he's able to take it. Alright. Josh can't beat Jeff Jones. How about that, guys? How about that? Yeah. Um...